channel it's your girl Lex and I am back once again with another tutorial so today's look is going to be on this ponytail <clears throat> how to um, basically install a Marley hair ponytail sorry the wind is blowing and I have the window open because it's really hot in here so I put this on this morning um, let me see that. and I don't think that it's hard at all I don't think it's hard at all, um, but there are ways to it so that it doesn't look fake or so that it looks like it's blended, basically. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos. I also did a look, a tutorial on this look that I have on my face, so if you would like to see that, go ahead and click the link down below for it after you watch this video, of course. Um, and I think that's basically it. Thank you for all my new subscribers. Welcome my family and if you're not a part of my YouTube family go ahead and subscribe why not I mean you gotta love me and I love you guys so make sure you subscribe and just stay tuned for the video I hope you enjoy here are the products that you will need and they will all be in the description box below all right guys so I'm starting off by removing the scarf from my hair because you know the edges is laid so I'm gonna take the hair bows off of my two puffs that I've been rocking for a few days and that's how we're gonna start so now I'm taking my water bottle sprayer and spritzing water all through my hair is it going to be soaking wet no but I just want it wet enough so that I can detangle it without you know, really having a big issue with it. That water was cold. <laughs> Started dripping down my back, so I had to get a towel. So I got the towel, and now I'm still working the water in there. Just want to get it nice and soft. So now I'm taking this what is it a wide tooth comb yes <clears throat> and just combing through it and getting a little idea like mm, maybe I should just rock the low puff in the back but nah but um I normally would start at the ends of the hair and work my way up so that it's not you know it's rough on me but I was in a rush this morning so I was like look we're about to get this comb through here okay <laughs> and just smoothing all of it out smoothing it down towards the back since I'm gonna be doing a low ponytail in the back I'm just using the dimming brush to go through it and reiterate the smoothness of the hair then I'm gonna take the soft brush and go ahead and lay it down honey I'm just like basically putting down the foundation for now before adding the gel and all the other stuff so <clears throat> I think here I'm gonna take the hair bow yeah and just put it around Oh, I'm gonna put more water, okay? Then I'm taking the hair bow, and I'm just gonna wrap it twice. It's not tight at all. I just wanna work a little bit more on the front of my hair because the way my curl pattern is, it, it's not really easy to get my hair to lay. <clears throat> so I'm just adding a little more water, and now I'm gonna take my Eco Styler Gel and put that on, and hopefully try to lay it a little bit more. my soft brush once again just trying to get it as smooth as I possibly can I cannot stand little strand hairs that just stick up clumps of hair like I just hate that so now I'm taking the dimming brush once again more gel in areas that are sticking up and trying my hardest I'm telling y'all I try so hard to lay it down so now I'm getting it as tight as I can this is not you know the final product but it's good enough I guess to go ahead and ponytail it after examining the way my hair is looking in the front I'm 
not satisfied at all. It's not laid, it's just not working. And I'm running low on Eco Styler Gel, so I just had to work with what I had. So I went in with the toothbrush, hoping to lay it down a little bit better. Then I take the Eco Styler Gel and start to work on those edges because it, at least the edges can be right. If, you know, the top of the hair doesn't want to lay like it really should, at least the edges would be nice. So I'm doing that now. taking this stretch and set styling foam from keep it curly shea butter and olive oil and this is gonna as I'm hoping lay it down a little bit better because the gel clearly was not just just not quite getting it <laughs> Next, I'm going to take my edges toothbrush once again and just try to go back over any strand hairs or hairs that are sticking up. I'm so annoyed at this point with all these little hairs because my hair is just not, you know, quite long enough to, for all of it to fit in the ponytail just yet. So some of it is just kind of there. So I'm adding a little more gel. I'm just really am high on the hair being laid. If it's not laying down, I have a problem. I, I'm not satisfied with that. So I'm taking more gel, I'm trying my hardest to get it to lay some more. It's about that time now to grab my handy dandy scarf. I'm going to tie this on with hopes that this will lay the hair down a little bit better. I will go ahead and put a disclaimer out there that my hair normally is laid a whole lot better than this because I've just packed lots of Eco Styler Gel on it. But today I'm just running low on it so I didn't want to just use too much. So I just used uh, just a little bit. Um, but I'm putting on the scarf to lay the edges while I go and do my makeup. slaying the face and getting dressed side note if you would like to see how I accomplish this look on my face make sure you click the link down in the description of it so I put on my jewelry all of that so here's the hair I have it in two separate hair bows and I basically just have the hair through the hair bows and hanging on both sides so now I'm gonna take the hair and I'm putting this one I guess on the right side of my hair just you know applying it with the hair bow to my ponytail all right, kind of trying to spread that over across the right side. Now I'm going to take the other part of the hair and put it on the opposite side, which is the left. But I kind of put it over to the right side in hopes that it would lay better. So now I'm just playing with it, trying to use the Marley hair to cover my little natural bun. Now I'm splitting off an extra piece that I'm going to wrap around the ponytail. It got hair all over my face. I was so annoyed, like, oh my God, get this off me. And I couldn't pinpoint where it was. It felt like more than one piece. But either way, I think that this step is really what makes the ponytail look more natural. It, it doesn't look as fake. Cause you really can just, honestly, without this step, you can see the hair bow that's attaching the weave to your hair. So you wanna make sure that you wrap it around really nicely and cover up 
the rubber band or the hair bows in any area that you can tell that it's being connected, you want to cover that up. When I ran out of hair to wrap it around, I'm now taking a bobby pin that I am struggling to find to just pin it down, I guess, underneath the ponytail, like towards the back of my head so that it is secured and it's not going anywhere. basically it guys now I'm just trying to get it how I like it most of the time I wrap it in a bun so that it doesn't look as fake but today I wanted to go for a nice Pocahontas ponytail look so that's what I did I hope you all enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I love you guys and thanks for watching